Ready to go? Yeah, ready to go. Let's go. Yeah, got more, got a little bit more weight to it. Back to the rooster tail because you know last time last video rooster tail was doing work that's okay we we'll need to find us a deep hole for these crappies it's all grass right there man I'm catching grass Just hit mother pole. I don't know if he's dead or not. It's a pretty big bass. Oh, what we got? Oh, we got another big old bluegill. Not exactly the crappie we was looking for. Oh, dude. He's totally alive, dude. That was a four pound bass I just grabbed in the mouth. <laughs> dude, he was laying sideways. Probably trying to warm up. This water's cold, bro. That was crazy. The only bad part is, man, I just couldn't tell the depth. So you about you about took a swim? There's a bunch of bunch of bluegill right here. <laughs> well, at least we know they're out here sleeping. Dang it, man. <laughs> Got a fishing pole right there with lures on it. You should have just snatched him up. Well, if you can see him, you can just hook him in the mouth. <laughs> right? That's legit. You still caught him in the mouth. I will admit, this one does glide through the water pretty good. Even though I did, I did wax the bottom of the boat. So. And I did just totally catch that leaf right there. And they're all pretty random like this one. Pretty random. Just like that little fish. Bluegill Slayer. Here we go. Got something running in the woods, though. Oh, that was a little bite. Oh, he's still there. Yeah, 
if I do wind up going in these little back lakes back in here, these little back areas, I might have to mow the pole down because I see another little spot right over there. Oh yeah. That rocky outcropping out there. In the hole we go, I guess. And maybe we can see what's out here running in the woods. Squirrel? What are you doing, squirrel? Is that you making all that noise? I'm talking to a squirrel over here. Running through the damn woods, making all kinds of noise. And it's just a little squirrel. Or I guess a couple squirrels. Yeah, I think our bass catching adventures is probably over with this big old drop in temp because the last few nights it's been below freezing see that little bluegill right there chasing after the, the lure but it does open pretty shallow girl yeah Just in that little grass right there, and then it deepens off. It's a nice little areas out here, though. You definitely have to get a you gotta have a boat to get out here to those little spots, though. Look at that blue yard right there at the surface. Hey, Mr. Turtle. Yeah. Yep, come here, little guy. What we got? Another blue boo. How are you doing, panfish? You was hungry, weren't you? You got all three of those hooks in your little small ass mouth, huh? Good effing job, buddy. Doesn't make it hard to get them out or nothing. It'd be a whole lot easier if we could just uh, get one hook in your mouth. I know it. I know it. Calm down. I almost got you out. One hook. Sorry, buddy. You butchered your mouth. Infested. But, I mean, I seen him come out and grab it, though. He come right out of the bush. It's a little bass. Oh. All right, boys, we got us a bass. Yeah. Yeah, I seen him come right out of the bush. That's a pretty little bass, though. Beautiful. Thank you, buddy. Very much appreciated. And he come right out of them bushes right there. I got a rod holder right here, but or a place for a rod holder. I told you to set the rod out like that. But I am a 3D printer aficionado, I guess. I'll be 3D printing a bunch of stuff. It is missing one little clip for the back. I'll uh, I'll 3D print me a new clip. While this guy just stops in front of me, preventing me from fishing. <laughs> Did not. Oops. 
saved it. Oh. Got one. Uh, pretty decent size, too. Hey. Come on, kayak, work with me. Come here, bud. There we go. Yeah, I, it, I think I'm in the tree behind me too. There's another one over there. Where? Right there. I just can't get down to it because I'm uh, preoccupied. Come on, pole. Damn rooster tail out. Buddy, you got that in there pretty good, don't you? Don't get too far down in there, you scare them off. There's another one right there in front. That's where he was at. He hit it as soon as it grabbed the water. As soon as it hit the water. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Dead in front of me. Yep. Big old swirl and he snatched it. And there's another one. One scooted off that way. There we go. Look at that pretty little large mouth. Beautiful. Don't worry. You're going home. A little fat one. See ya. We're over here. Throw it right over there. Yep. There's another one there, because he took off when I caught this one. That's where I caught this one, was just to the right of that one, a couple feet. Tell you what, homie, I've seen you throw in a damn tree so many times in a little short time we've been out here. He's up on that cast, strong arm, a strong arm in that light ass lure. <laughs> Let's see, he was supposed to bring his GoPro and we could have had some dual footage, but he's a slacker and doesn't do that. Oh, I didn't charge it. I thought about it. Well. You thought too long about it. Because that's my problem. If I don't do it when I think about it, it doesn't get done. So I just do it. I get the... And I'm not streaming this time. So I... That's good. That means some fish will be hiding in there. So that means some fish will be hiding in there. You better throw it off in the water, bro. You throw it in trees. <laughs> Dude, I'm like... You wonder why I'm catching fish and he's not. <laughs> Half the time he's in the damn tree. <laughs> What'd you do, catch yourself? Hmm. Oh, yeah. You're just going to rip that out. Yeah, Yeah. Well, you going to do it? You going to do it? Okay. Mm. 
Don't, man, that's don't, in there good. Don't pull out slow. You got to yank it. And you're going to have to pull it, man. Nothing on my boat falls off. All right, pops. Mmm. Look over there. Oh, that ain't too bad. Mmm. Yeah. There we go. Rip a little bit, bleed a little bit. Could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been all the way down to the curve. Yeah. I had one. Where'd I have it? Right here. All the way down to oh, the curve. No thanks. So every time I moved my finger, oh. it was in the tendon. The, the lure was just jiggling was in my hand. Time. That was not so like a fun time. All right, Sean. Get out of the bushes, dude. Yeah. You done caught trees. You done caught yourself. And you still ain't caught no fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Funny video. I felt it hit my hand. I was like, ah, oh. and I look at it I'm like, ah, oh, it's inside my skin. Funny video of the week featuring Vips, Sean. I don't know if it is or not, but my ass is wet as hell too. Yeah. I don't know if it's just from dripping down off the paddle. I need to put a, I need to raise a cushion up underneath my ass on this one. Give me some standoffs. 3D print me a couple standoffs for a chair. Yes, I do. Yeah, there's a puddle right there. I am wet. Don't you have to break it off? Well, the second time this has happened. Well, we can just go to the next closest lake if we want to leave and try another one. You know what? I've got another one. I don't even want to, do, I don't even want to mess with it. I just bought some. Go do another lake. Huh? You say you want to go another lake? Yeah. Okay. Well, we only have so much time because of this time change, and now it's getting dark early, and we got out here a little later. Right. Can we go through that way? Well, I don't want to get my pole stuck on something. You got to remember yours is sticking up too. Water is very clear though. I will give it that much. Yeah, I'm gonna 3D print me some standoffs though, because my ass is soaking wet. I did plug up the, uh, the little bung holes or whatever you want to call them, so they wouldn't get in a wet ass. But. Apparently, I run a fish too. Apparently, it don't matter. There's all kinds of fish back here. I don't see you catching any. You just want to finish out on this lake? Nah, we may go to another Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh? Yeah, the, the, that bigger paddle, that longer paddle, <clears throat> would definitely be the way to go. Because this one. So 
sucks ass. Yeah. It'll be all right. Good ass kayak fishing. Felt, uh, felt pretty nice. It's the first time I hooked myself like that. Uh. Well, let's uh, creep on to the next hole. We might have another hour of daylight. So we got about an hour of fishing. This is too dark. Oh, name of that lake? Little Little Beaver Lake. Pyramid State Park, Little Beaver Lake. So we want to go, we don't want to do this one. We want to go to the main entrance and do one of those main lakes. What is this one here? It's another small. That's the one I think we just came from. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one comes down and goes that way. The old Spring Lake. I don't think we've been to that one, really. I don't think I've been to it. No, we've... Uh, I've been to that one, and I've just been to the entrance over here. Went there with Amber and did some night crawler fishing. Oh, did you? Yeah. Something on the lake there. Pyramid State Park entrance, 500 feet. So this one's Willow Lake, which we're not going to go on that one. That's a small one. Lake number two. I can't remember the name of this one. Just letting the air out of my, my bag. Think we could double arm these? right over and kick them right down probably yeah almost full mount yeah well well maybe not so i have to get them out we got to get them out first oh, here. So, i'll hold it if you want to try to run i got it get my finger slowly walk back here, yeah like right It's a big cluster. It's a big cluster. Right. Don't really remember the name of this lake. Huh? So I don't remember the name of this one. Oh, yeah. I'll put yours right here. I'll put mine over here. Ew. The muddy mud. Yay. 
Oh, you gonna grab mine? Is yours on a, a chair? It might be. Yeah. Yeah, this will be a pretty good lake to get in and out of. Straight shoot. It does got a little wind. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's